the way this Pro Pilot 2.0, Pro Pilot Assist 2.0 system works is that it the it has a hands-on adaptive cruise control system. Uh, so it keeps you within the lane and it also keeps you at a set distance between you and the vehicle in front of you but you do have to keep your hands on the wheel, except for certain roads, certain highways. And there's actually a map on the, on the Nissan website that shows you what highways you can actually use the, the highest feature of the vehicle. Um, and basically what the highest feature does is makes it to where you don't have to hold the steering wheel and you don't have to press the pedals. You just sit there and you pay attention to the road, but you don't have to actively drive the vehicle it's like a it's like a I guess it's similar to like a you know advanced c cruise control system and uh, now it, how does it know that you're paying attention to the road it has a little camera right in here uh, with IR illuminators you know you can see them on the camera they don't really see them in real life uh, like like in, in your own, your own eyes can't see the lights here but the camera can pick up these little IR illuminators um, and what they do is they illuminate your face and they keep an eye on your eyes, even through sunglasses. So if you have sunglasses on, it can still see through them uh, with the IR illuminators. Okay, we're at 70 miles an hour and the highway assist system, you can see it's turned blue uh, instead of green. Uh, the ambient light also on the dash and on the doors also turns blue. You can only see it at night for the most part. Uh, so this is where I can actually take my hands off the steering wheel and so It's just kind of like a advanced cruise control. I guess uh, Now I'm watching the road, you know hands on the wheel can't see face clearly. All right, so I Guess let me put the steering wheel down a little bit so it can see my face Here all right, so there we go Because uh, the camera's here and it has IR illuminators so it's it can see the road it can see that there's a lane next to me and it can tell that there's no vehicles now i'm going to go ahead and slow down a little bit because there's some vehicles behind me i want to get those vehicles closer uh because they'll actually show up here on the screen and this is the hands-free driving with the Pro Pilot 2.0 system only on certain roads, and this is one of those special roads that allows you to do this. All right, so now there is a vehicle next to me. They're passing, and you can see them show up here on the screen. Uh, now you see some additional information there on the heads up display, but it's mostly conveyed there on the screen. Uh, down here and you can see those little vehicles there and it shows their relative position to my vehicle um, While I'm driving now it's showing that additional lane. That's just a turning lane now. It just went away So it could recognize lanes around the vehicle uh, it could recognize vehicles around and where they are and It does a decent job of holding the lane even over bumps and stuff and also you notice that it didn't try to get to that turning lane some uh, steering assist systems sometimes will try to go into a steering lane uh, turning lane uh, but this one you know didn't even try to do that it was able to recognize it was a turning lane and not go all right merging traffic ahead watch out for merging vehicles all right there's no merging vehicles so it's just a passing one all right, so now we're back there. And the lines on the road aren't super clear. I mean, they're pretty obscure, relatively speaking. Uh, kind of worn out and worn down, but the system's able to recognize, so far, do a pretty good job of recognizing the lanes here. Here comes another car. I'm probably going a little bit too slow. <laughs> But I have to to get the vehicles because the cars are kind of spaced out. So I want you to see them here on the screen, see what they look like. All 
right, let's go ahead and resume, go a little bit faster. Now it also has this button here on the steering wheel for changing lanes. So if we want to change lanes, uh, we can put the turn signal on and change lanes. Press the button, it changes lanes. All right, so now it's asking me to hold on to the steering wheel. I think you have to hold on to the steering wheel when it changes lanes. So let's go ahead and do it again. We'll go ahead and it'll help us change lanes here. All right, so now we're back to the lane holding again. And when it turns blue, that means you can let go of the steering wheel and it just kind of keeps you in, in straight <laughs> in the lane. All right, we've got some more passers. And we're going 70 miles an hour, and it's a relatively smooth ride and quiet. Uh, this would be a really good highway vehicle. The lanes on the road are very obscure right now. Very obscure. They're barely there as far as the, the actual lines on the road. And it's able to pick up, pick it up and hold the lane. Now it's telling me to, that the speed limit is changing and it makes it real easy to just lower, just push the down button here on this, on the uh, cruise control and it'll automatically go to the new speed limit. Uh, the only problem is there's like people right behind me. So I'm not gonna, go down 10 miles per hour difference here real fast so we're gonna not do that right now because the vehicle in front of me is slowing down anyway 